Hey guys, it's Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and today is part of our 30 day series. We are going to be working on lunch bags. My four year old and my two year old are doing preschool this year and this is the first year they're getting to stay a little bit later. So they're going nine to one um, a couple days a week, not every day because that's expensive. But um, so we are, they're eating lunch there and I am trying to put together some lunch bags. And I have a really cool pattern. If you want a copy of the pattern, you can go and subscribe over at my newsletter and you'll get emailed a link. That link goes to my folder on Google Drive that is just for subscribers. It's got patterns, it's got a free sample of my ebook, it's got printables, like menu planners. It's really cool, go check it out. Um, and let's get started. This is going to be a fun project at times sometimes. So let's go head over to the sewing table and I'm going to show you what kind of supplies we're going to need. Okay guys, I've got my pattern together, or my pattern out, and I've got three different fabrics that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using something called polyurethane laminate, which is P-U-L, or pull as I like to call it. And this is a uh, very, um, <clears throat> it's a little bit waterproof and uh, easy to wipe down. And you could also use something like a vinyl. And uh, I like how thin it is. I use it for cloth diapers when I was making cloth diapers for my kids and I have a lot extra left. So I want to use that for this project so I can make use of my fabric. I'm also going to be using something called, oh my gosh, Insole Bright. Yes, this is Insole Bright. So, Insole Bright is helping insulate your bag. It also helps keep, um, they, people use it for ironing board covers and also for um, pot holders to keep them from burning themselves. <clears throat> We're just going to use one layer of this for our bag. And we've got our main fabric, which is something my son picked out. And when we're sewing with this, we got to be aware that this is in one direction. As you can see, there's, I mean, you have to make this your, your side. It has to look like this. Because if I sew it like this, it's going to look wonky on his bag. If you want to save yourself some trouble, you can always find a fabric that is kind of like goes in any direction. These type of fabrics are a little bit easier because you don't have to be so aware of which direction you're sewing your fabric in. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's get started cutting our fabric. And again, if you want the pattern, uh, it's in all my email subscribers get access to that. So make sure to go over and sign up. You can also just make your own pattern though too. Okay guys, so I have all my fabric cut. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put the um, inner piece to the side and I want to take the um, the exterior piece and the insole bright and I want to quilt them uh, again personal preference um, I needed to put them together for um, and I could have just basted them together but instead I'm going to quilt them because I can. And um, <clears throat> nothing crazy because I don't know what I'm doing. I just really want to do some basic stuff here. And what I might do is I might just follow the lines on this fabric. I don't need to do this for all of it. It's just enough to hold the liner on while I'm sewing everything else together. You want your fabrics and here's our bottom. We're going to put our bottom to the side. We are going to look at our sides now. Now what we want to do is we want to figure out where all our sides are and pin them right sides together. I pin A and C right sides together with this. Oops, that's a little wonky. Okay and we're just going to make sure we did it in the right direction and we're going to sew a straight stitch right down those. We're just going to want to open that up, make sure we did a good job, didn't miss any spots, 
and we're going to do this side. And again, open up, make sure you did a good job. Okay, we're going to add our last side. Again, make sure it is right sides up. Just go ahead and pin these together or whatever. Make sure you did a good job. And now these are going to go right sides together. Here's our cube. And we are going to pin our base to this. Okay, there's our bottom pinned on. We're going to go sew all the way around and um, finish the bottom here. And then we will have the whole exterior of the bag finished. As you can see, we now have our bag right here. Isn't that pretty? We are going to go sew the interior fabric the same way. And that okay guys, so we're finished the lining and we're finished the exterior. We are going to turn our liner right sides out. And we are going to line it up. Now, we are going to pin this because, trust me, you want to pin this. And as you can see, we come up here and we have our, our top. We also want to pin that right sides together. Okay, now we're just going to top, or we're going to stitch around this, leaving an opening to turn in top stitch. <clears throat> I would suggest doing a fairly wide spot to turn in top stitch because this is going to be a little thicker than just doing something simple. Okay. I sewed all the way around. Here's my area to turn in, that I need to turn it through. Our next job is to top stitch this. <clears throat> and you need to just turn these edges over here. You may want to pin that so you can close them up. We're just going to go all the way around and top stitch. Okay, for the next part, I just made a quick strap. And I'm just going to add a strap on here so he has something to carry it with by. Okay, so as you can see, my strap is on the top. I'm going to add some Velcro here and here. Hey guys, okay, we're done. And um, I added my Velcro on here, also inside. And as you can see, we have this lovely lunch bag. Um, I think I should have rotated this a little bit up. I may end up moving this at some point. But um, so you do have to fold it a little bit. So as you can see, when it opens, it opens all the way wide. And you just have to fold it in like this. And you have your easy lunch bag. And this probably wasn't the easiest project of the uh, group, but it's um, kind of a fun project to do. And um, my son's going to be really excited about having his own bag. And that's part of what's fun about making our gifts is that, you know, they know that you made that just for them. They wanted that car fabric or um, they really like that wine fabric if you're making for an adult. Um, and you did it with them in 
in mind and you took a lot of time and you made something they're gonna love and if you wanted to add more of a personal touch you could even put their name on it it'd be very easy to do like some iron-on vinyl or to embroider across this their name I try not to do that mostly because I find that customized items I can't pass on to my other son and um, I like that I can kind of mix it up if I want or let's say we're done using these and we don't want them anymore because I make them a like new cool bag well I want to be able to give this to somebody else that might need it I don't want it to go in the garbage because my son's name's Godric and there's not there's not another Godric I mean that name is just not used Caden I might be able to find someone but even so it does restrict who I can give it to um, and embroidery is very hard to pull out I think vinyl you could probably get off maybe but I'd rather just leave it um, without the name and I can put a little tag with his name on the inside if I need to, but there's not going to be anyone else with this bag, so I probably don't need to worry about that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you follow along for the rest of the 30-day gift-giving series. Got lots of other projects to do, and I promise most of them will be easier than this one, but this is a fun sewing project, I think. Um, yes, subscribe. If you want the pattern for this, um, make sure you head over to my blog and subscribe to my email newsletter. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.